Minecraft concepts represent the audacious frontiers of engineering, designs that were often too ambitious, expensive, or ahead of their time to be fully realized. While production aircraft like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 changed the world, the truly revolutionary leaps in design often occur on the drawing board of cancelled projects. These never-built giants and radical prototypes push the limits of speed, size, capacity, and efficiency, influencing the successful aircraft that followed them. So without further delay, let us look at these colossal jets. Number 1. The Lockheed CL-1201 The largest ever aircraft concept A colossal nuclear-powered aircraft designed in the late 1960s during the Cold War. It was envisioned to serve either as a massive logistics transport or more famously as an airborne aircraft carrier capable of launching and recovering tactical fighters. The CL-1201's proposed size was unprecedented, a staggering 340-meter wingspan, over three times the length of a Boeing 747 and a length of 170 meters. It was designed to weigh nearly 6,000 tons and utilize four main nuclear-powered jet engines alongside 182 vertical lift engines for takeoff assistance. The nuclear propulsion system would have allowed for an airborne endurance of up to 41 days. Ultimately, the Lockheed CL-1201 never progressed beyond the design study stage. The project was deemed too ambitious, facing insurmountable technical challenges related to its sheer size, structural integrity, and the inherent dangers and enormous cost of operating a large nuclear reactor in an aircraft. It remains a fascinating what-if in aviation history, symbolizing the era's boundless engineering dreams. At number 2, the Bereave BE-5000 A proposed massive seaplane from the 1980s with a projected maximum takeoff weight of almost 5,000 tons. It was also designed to carry payloads of up to 500 tons. It would have dwarfed most transport aircraft of its time. The concept featured a catamaran-style twin-hull fuselage, a wingspan around 120 meters, and turboprop engines mounted high to avoid water spray. Intended to transport heavy industrial equipment and military hardware across remote Soviet regions, the BE-5000 never advanced beyond design studies. The project was ultimately abandoned due to extreme technical challenges, immense costs and the rise of more practical cargo aircraft. At number 3, the Boeing RC-1 The Boeing Resource Carrier 1 was a conceptual design from the early 1970s, nicknamed the Brute Lifter or Flying Pipeline. Its size was immense. It featured a nearly 500-foot wingspan and was designed to carry a staggering 2.3 million pound payload of oil or minerals in external pots, roughly five times the capacity of the AN-225. It was intended to establish an air bridge of resource extraction from remote northern regions of Alaska and Canada. The aircraft was never built and the project was abandoned after the 1973 oil crisis drastically increased jet fuel prices, making the RC-1's operational cost completely uneconomical compared to pipelines. Number 4. The Antonov AN-325 A colossal aircraft concept, a larger variant of the legendary six-engine AN-225 Maria. Its design featured a massive eight-engine configuration two more than the AN-225 and was intended to have increased size and payload capacity, making it arguably the largest aircraft ever envisioned. The AN-325 was proposed in the A-1980s as an air launch platform for various spacecraft, including the Soviet reusable shuttle, dramatically reducing the cost of placing payloads into orbit. The project never materialized beyond the design phase. Its development was abandoned due to the complexity and enormous cost of the ambitious space launch system, a situation quickly exacerbated by the dissolution 
of the Soviet Union and the subsequent economic turmoil and cancellation of the Buran space program that it was meant to support. The Convoy Virtus A twin fuselage heavy lift aircraft concept proposed in 1974 by American designer John M. Conroy to serve as a carrier for the Space Shuttle Orbiter. Its size were gargantuan. It was designed with 140-meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight of over 385 tons. The design cleverly intended to reduce costs by incorporating two fuselages cannibalized from two Boeing 552 Stratofortress bombers connected by a new, massive wing and tail section. The aircraft was ultimately never built. Despite promising wind tunnel tests, NASA rejected the proposal because of the impractical size, high development costs for an entirely new airframe and the subsequent infrastructure required to support it. Instead, NASA chose the more modest, cost-effective solution of converting existing Boeing 747 airliners to create the iconic shuttle carrier aircraft. Number 6. The Aerocon-1.6 Wingship a revolutionary unbuilt American concept for a ground-effect vehicle designed for ultra-heavy, high-speed cargo transport over water. Its proposed size was massive and estimated 173-meter length, a 104-meter wingspan, and a colossal maximum takeoff weight of 4,500 metric tons, powered by 20 jet engines. It was intended to carry 1,400 tons of cargo and over 2,000 passengers at near airliner speeds. The project was cancelled in 1994, and the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, after an in-depth study, deemed the ultra-large design to be a too high-risk proposition for further funding due to the immense technical challenges and unknown operational hazards associated with such a large vessel at sea. Number 7. The Boeing Pelican Ultra Another visionary concept for a massive military and commercial ground-effect vehicle studied by Boeing's Phantom Works in the early 2000s. Its size was unprecedented. The design featured an enormous 152-meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight of up to 3,000 short tons. It was designed to skim just 20 to 50 feet above the ocean surface using the ground effect to reduce drag, allowing it to carry tanks, helicopters, and other cargoes over 10,000 nautical miles. The aircraft was never built, and the project was quietly shelved around 2006. Its immense size presented insurmountable practical and financial obstacles, including the need for specialized runways, the prohibitive cost of development, and the high operational risks associated with low-altitude ground-effect flight over open water. Number 8. The Bereave BE-2500 Neptune A super-heavy Russian amphibious aircraft designed to function as both a high-altitude transport jet and a ground-effect vehicle over the sea, blending aviation and maritime transport capabilities. Its immense size was unprecedented. With a planned maximum takeoff weight of over 2,500 metric tons, four times heavier than the Antonov AN-225, and by far the largest aircraft ever proposed. Its wingspan was projected to be 156 meters, and its length 123 meters, with a payload capacity of up to 1,000 tons. The estimated development cost billions of dollars. The technical complexities of such a hybrid design and a lack of firm government or commercial funding have kept the BE-2500 confined to the drawing board since its initial concept stages in the 1980s and subsequent proposals in the post-Soviet era. Number 9. The Boeing 747-600X A major derivative of the Queen of the Skies proposed by Boeing in 1996 alongside the shorter 747-500X. It was an attempt to compete in the emerging superjumbo market, which eventually saw the development of the Airbus A380. Its size was to be the largest in the 747 lineage at the time, featuring an extensive fuselage stretched to 279 feet or 85 meters, significantly longer than the 747-400. 
The size was designed to accommodate up to 548 passengers and was intended to feature a new, larger wing derived from the Boeing 777 to support the increased weight. The project was cancelled in an early 1997 due to a complete lack of airline interest. Airlines preferred the flexibility of smaller, more fuel-efficient twin-engine jets like the 777 and were unwilling to invest the billions needed for the new aircraft's development, which was deemed too risky. Boeing ultimately offered the smaller 747-8 as its super jumbo response. Number 10. The Tupolev Tu 404. Lastly on the list, we have a radical super jumbo jet liner concept proposed by the Russian design bureau Tupolev in the early 1990s. It was one of the world's most ambitious commercial aircraft designs intended to compete in the emerging market for high capacity air travel. The most noted design was a blended wing body aircraft that had a wingspan of 110 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 605 tons. It was designed to carry a massive 1,214 passengers in all economy layout over ranges of up to 13,500 kilometers. Its demise was sealed by a combination of factors, primarily the catastrophic economic collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, which eliminated the required development funding. Furthermore, the design faced immense technical challenges, significant infrastructure issues at global airports, and a lack of clear market demand from airliners for a plane of such unprecedented capacity. Well, that's it guys for today. We'll see you guys again in our next video. Until then, stay tuned and bye-bye.